Wish you all a Merry Christmas from Santa, Santa Claus. My dear friends, this is Vineet Pandey and today, as you know, it's a tradition. On every Christmas, I come out with a video dealing with Christmas. Sometimes the top 10 books dealing with Christmas, sometimes mythology behind Christmas, sometimes the real story of Santa Claus. This time, I'm going to talk about the important literary facts related to Christmas. Christmas is actually celebrated by Europeans first and then the rest of the world. And what we study in English literature is European literature. So there are so many references. I was thinking, do we have these writers who are actually connected to Christmas? If these writers were very much fascinated with Christmas, did they use any reference in their literary books? And see, where are we? Before I start the lecture, I want to wish you once again a Merry Christmas and my friends, I'll also request you, this is an educational platform, my efforts to bring curiosity and to make lectures interesting is just beneficial for you, for me, because people say literature is boring. I want to prove them wrong. You have to prove them wrong. No, literature is not boring. It's the method which can be boring. So you and me will study this and all I need is your likes. If you can see the efforts behind this video, if you can love the content, don't hesitate to like. Let's start. Did you know the first Christmas cards were sent in 1843? Yes, this is the same year. The greatest Victorian novelist Charles Dickens wrote A Christmas Carol. Do you know A Christmas Carol is a direct book connected to Christmas? where the leading character is having three ghosts around him. The three ghosts are past, present and future. And one more ghost appears known as Jacob Marley. Do you know that the originally 1000 cards for Christmas were printed and right now only 12 cards, yes, the first printed Christmas cards, right now only 12 cards are available. Going for the second point, do you know that the earliest use of the specific phrase Christmas card it was recorded by Oxford English Dictionary in 1883 and this word comes from a famous Victorian writer and art critic John Ruskin yes my friends you are right John Ruskin is the same person who coined the phrase pathetic fallacy he was the one who was an art critic a writer and was actually famous this is very important point that Christmas card got accepted by Oxford Dictionary as a phrase. The next point we have is very much known to everyone. Yes, my friends, Journey of the Magi by T.S. Eliot. Do you know the complete poetry is dealing with Christmas? It was originally commissioned to be included in a Christmas card or a pamphlet. When Eliot wrote the poem about the Magi's journey to visit the infant Christ, it was written at the request of his publishers, Favors and Faber. They simply wanted a small poem which can be actually added in the greeting cards and will be very cheap, will be very easy to buy. This is the important poem. I hope you have read it. In India, in UPSC syllabus, this poetry has been prescribed. Hope you are liking the points. Hope you are adding your knowledge. Go for likings because we have fourth point which is very surprising. The fourth point we have is dealing with Jean Paul Sartre. Do you know the first ever play? You know Sartre's first ever play. It was performed on Christmas in 1940 by his fellow prisoners of war. The play was called Bariona Ole Fels de Tonere. Sinkri means the son of thunder and it was performed at Stelagag 12. So this particular play, the first ever play by Jean Paul Sartre was performing in the particular day of Christmas. Hope you know that Sartre himself was a prisoner during the World War II. Fifth point we have is Peter Jackson's adaptation. Peter Jackson's adaptation is not the first time J.R. Tolkien, the Hobbit has been adapted for the screen. It was made for the small screen back in the 1970s. Do you know the company which created Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? It's the same that adapted it. The point number six, between 1922-1942, to 
J.R. Tolkien kept on writing series of letters to his children under the title Father Christmas. Father Christmas these letters were published later after the death in 1976 and these got documented. These are one of the most famous letters from father to a kid. He simply takes a character who lives in North Pole and communicates. This is a moral tale. Some emotional references are there. Father Christmas own house, how he steals presents is the story. The seventh point. Do you know the character of Father Christmas makes his first ever appearance in literature in 1616 and that was the mask performed by Shakespeare's contemporary writer Ben Jonson. Though it's a small mask so people don't read it but it was actually performed by Ben Jonson's characters it was a mask known as Christmas he was the greatest contemporary of Shakespeare guys do you know the point number 8 deals with the image of santa claus i am dressed like a santa but who actually knows that santa dressed up like that this is the point my friends we have talked about this thing in my last year video on the same day christmas yes the original or today's modern image of santa claus comes from famous work a visit from saint nicholas it was written in 1823 a work which is known as a visit from saint nicholas sometimes we simply call it was the night before christmas that was the night this poem was popularized and it became actually the image of saint nick as a jolly fat man wearing a fur trimmed red robes long before the coca cola advertisements because coca cola also gave us the modern image but it's not coca cola it's the poetry moreover the simple thing that you have to remember is that the modern image which got popularized by coca cola and actually by this poetry was earlier mentioned in anglo section references the ninth point we have is the red dress which has been associated with santa claus it was actually the creation of coca cola the red dress that got added to this dress was coca cola because the famous poetry where he talks about the image of santa claus he talks about an old man white snow beard but he doesn't talk about the red dress that's added by coca cola the next point we have is dealing with charles dickens charles dickens when he started publishing his own works the sketches by boz there he has mentioned a perfect christmas dinner the piece offers an insight into what the average 19th century family would do at the time of christmas that was 1835 just before queen victoria came to the throne and the idea of the modern christmas would become firmly entrenched in the national consciousness dickens gives us that image the point number 11 we have is according to oxford dictionary it has been proved that the first ever use of the phrase christmas pudding comes in the greatest victorian novelist anthony trollope's famous novel series known as barchet shire name of the novel is dr thorn trollope wrote six novels set in the fictional english country of barchet shire and dr thorn is the third novel in this series hope you are liking these facts the like button is just 1 second away from you don't forget to like and let's go for the 12th most important point christina rossetti the once again famous writer from victorian she wrote the words to the christmas carol in the bleak midwinter it was written sometime prior 1872 when scribner's monthly magazine requested a christmas themed poem but it was only published in 1904 approx 10 years after rossetti's death the next point we have is famous connection of christmas carol and charles dickens it was written just 6 weeks within 6 weeks and it sold 6000 copies on the same christmas evening it was published so within 6 days same day the public and 5 other days 6000 copies were sold but it could not help dickens because the cost was really low but the point to be remember is Dickens wrote Christmas Carol on Christmas evening and sold 6000 plus copies. These are the most important facts I'm bringing in front of you. Don't forget to like this and we will go for the next important point. Do you know that Christmas Carol was not the first Christmas story written by Dickens? This is a fact. 
If you think Christmas Carol was the first ever work written by Dickens, then we are making a mistake. It wasn't even the first Christmas ghost story. Remember this thing Dickens had already written, the story of the goblins who stole a sexton. Please repeating once again for you. The story of the goblins who stole a sexton. This is very important. The character was Gabriel Grubb and that was published in Pickwick Papers. Point to be noted, I believe I deserve a like by you. Let's go for the next important point. The next important point we have is the story of Sleepy Hollow written by Washington Irving. He would write fairy stories. The Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle helped to inspire the modern American writers to know and understand Christmas. In fact, we can also say the modern Americans, when they get to know about Christmas and become the part of it, it's only because of Washington Irving's Rip Van Winkle series and the Sleepy Hollow series. This is the thing how Washington Irving introduces Christmas to Americans. The next point is going to make you smile. The only Christmas present that William Faulkner would accept from his family were pipe cleaners. This is something funny. William Faulkner was a great writer and if you know, if you have attended my online classes, my lectures on UGC Net English, he has written Sound and the Fury where the title of Sound and Fury has been taken from Macbeth, Act 5, Scene 5. William Faulkner won Nobel Award of 1949 and was a very simple person, very innocent person but then he had a habit of taking pipe cleaners from his family as a Christmas gift, nothing else. Next important point my friend, do you know Harper Lee? Yes, you must be knowing Harper Lee, right? You are my online student, so you must be knowing. You are preparing for use in English, you should know. Do you know Harper Lee, to, you know, the one who is actually famous for writing To Kill a Mockingbird? She received a beautiful gift as a Christmas gift from her best friends. And those best friends gave a note to her where it was written, you have one year off from your job to write whatever you please. And then she actually took one year off and started writing on her famous work and came out with To Kill a Mockingbird. So she had this idea to write a killer mockingbird. Her friends knew this thing. They simply requested her on Christmas to go for a mockingbird. She wrote it and became famous. The another point will take your hearts away. Do you know the first recorded record of the line Christmas present actually comes in Samuel Papey's diary? Oxford English Dictionary says it is 1663. The entry in the diary of Samuel Papies takes the reference of Christmas present. I have been given presents by my neighbors. I am also going to give them presents. And today I am going to tell my neighbors that the phrase Christmas present comes in 1663. The next point and the last point of my research today is simply related to Nahum Tate, the poet laureate who became poet laureate in 1692, a famous writer. He was famous for a poetry called Wild Shepherds Was Their Fox. While Shepherds Was Their Flocks, it became immediately famous, deals with Christmas. My friends, I hope you like these facts and there is a request from you all. I am putting my efforts to make knowledge and literature easy and interesting. All I need from you is some basic support that's like, subscribe and share. It seems really good when people are learning. A teacher gets motivated to teach more and more when he gets to know that his students are actually learning and his communication, his knowledge is not getting wasted. Aapko Sanskrit mein pata hoga, Sanskrit mein ek baat buri gai hai, Vyaykrite vardhate eva nityam vidya dharam sarvdhan pradhanam. I made some efforts today to make the lecture interesting. You have to make some efforts like share and subscribe thank you so much and once again merry christmas